Yeah, welcome back to another video. Chlamydia to this topic. The organisms of the genera Chlamydia are intracellular bacteria that are extremely difficult to culture. They differ with the most bac other bacteria with respect to their very small size and their obligate intracellular parasite. Due to their failure to grow in the cell-free media and feedability, these organisms are previously regarded as viruses. These organisms are unable to produce ATP molecules. Hence, they require the biochemical resources of the host eukaryotic cell environment for growth and multiplications. And now the time for characteristics. They are filtrable and heat labile. Heat labile without the presence of heat. It does not grow in cell-free media. It possesses ribosomes. It has variety of metabolically active enzymes. That is the example is it can liberate CO2 from glucose. Some can synthesize folate. Folate is the term that a nutrient in the vitamin B complex that the body needs in small amounts of functions and stay healthy. Folate helps to make red cells. Okay. Now get back to the same point. It has a cell wall like bacteria and rickets. It does not have a cleavage phase following cellular infection. A cleavage phase the phase between the time mm, the cell infect the body and the disease happened. This the time is a cleavage phase. And it multiplies by nidification. It has the both RNA and DNA susceptible to an antibacterial agents like ethanol and ether and low concentration of formalin. Uh, the classification group A and group B are classified group A it causes lymphogranuloma venerium and trachoma and the last thing is inclusion conjunctivitis group B causes cytokosis and ornithosis morphology elementary body and reticulate body are existed in chlamydia elementary body they are spherical and extracellular infectious particles reticulate body on the entry into cell it enlarges to form reticulate body this is reproductive form and divides by binary fissions to produce large number of elementary bodies okay now the time for growth cycle initiation of the infection takes place by the attachment of the elementary body to the susceptible host epithelial cell followed by its endocytosis Throughout its active growth, the elementary body remains with the endosome and separated from the host cytoplasm. In about 8 hours, the elementary body transforms to a large reticular body, which divides binary fissions. By 12 hours, elementary bodies affair by 24 hours. Binary fission continues for about 40 hours. The developing inclusions bodies from microcolonies. 100 to 500 elementary bodies are released from the host cell after the maturation of the inclusion bodies. In the case of uh, uh, chlamydia, endocytosis the ma of mature inclusion bodies takes place after 72 hours, which leaves the cell, uh, host cell with a scar. Now the time for resistance. It is heat labile inactivated at 50 degrees temperature within few minutes it is susceptible to ethanol ether low concentration of phenol and formalin it can be maintained at 4 degree centigrade for several days however it is preserved at minus 70 degree centigrade or lyophilized antigenic structure it possesses two types of antigen number one group antigen number two specific antigen group antigen is common to all the members of the chlamydia it is polysaccharides resistance to heat, nucleus and proteins. It is inactivated by the periodate and the lectinitis. It may be removed by the treatment with deoxycholate. Specific antigens are detected by the gel diffusion or by the immunofluorescence. Specific antigens remain attached with the cell wall after treatment by antitoxin. Toxin neurologization is used for the interspecific typing okay so this is the end of